What's good you guys? It's the 420 Goonie, just chilling here on this late night. And uh, this video right here, it's gonna be as real as it gets right here. This is not gonna be talking about wrestling, so uh, for all my subscribers looking for a wrestling video, this is not it. I'll give you a few seconds to click out. All right, thank you. Um, there is somebody on YouTube that I cannot fucking stand. And um, I've wanted to make a video on him for a long time, and he dared me to do it, so. Here it is right here, Sean's View Entertainment. I cannot stand this motherfucker and I know a lot of you can't either. Um, let me give a little background info here. Um, now, not too long ago, me and Sean's View, I was subscribed to his YouTube channel. I liked his videos, I was friends with him on Facebook, we are cool, whatever. Then, next thing you know, he's uploading spoilers and shit and I just, uh, I don't have a lot of, um, you know, good things to say about spoilers, especially when they're in the fucking title, okay? Um, a lot of other things that I'll get into, but, um, <clears throat> you know, that's what originally pissed me off, so I haven't really uh, been in touch with her for a little bit. And then, uh, not too long ago, Big Cha-Ching Chris. Link in the description. Everybody go check out Big Cha-Ching Chris. Uh, another cool dude on YouTube makes great videos. He does contests and stuff, so be in touch with him. He's really cool. Um, he made a video not too long ago talking about Sean's view and just, um, you know, kind of saying a bunch of true things about him and Sean couldn't handle it. So, um, he messages me and, uh, I think the only way Sean found that video, no offense to anybody, but I think it's just because Sean, uh, you know, nobody searches your name up on YouTube more than you do. And, uh, as soon as that video was up, you found it because your name must have been in the tags. I can understand that. And uh, you're just on YouTube searching up your own name, you know, refreshing your nodq.com dirt sheet all freaking day. And uh, you saw that I left a comment along with another friend of mine on YouTube. And um, so so you sent me this long ass message. It's just, oh, you think you could take me down? Oh, well, I got a bunch of fans and uh, no one could take me down because I'm Sean and I'm better than everybody, blah, blah, blah. So I talked to my friend that also left a comment on that video and I asked him, Hey, did Sean leave a crazy ass message on your thing? And he's like, yeah, check it out. It says the same exact thing, copy and fucking pasted. So, uh, you know, that, uh, it is what it is. I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. Whatever. Uh, you, Sean, you are the fucking human version of nodq.com. I swear to God. If you have a little toolbar at the top that says no DQ and you just go to that site, you can get better information, okay? Except on nodq.com, they don't spoil shit in the title. And um, they don't post a bunch of fake rumors in their shit just to get views. No, they got a bunch of real shit. I know you can't handle when people say it, but it's the fucking truth. Oh, and on nodq.com, you can just read something. You don't have to see somebody taking a shit while telling you the information. I don't know how appealing that is to some people. I guess 2,000 of you motherfuckers, huh? Um, no disrespect though, I think it's great, Sean, that you have been able to attain so many subscribers or fans that you would like to call them. Personally, I have about a fourth, maybe a fourth or maybe a fifth is as many fans as you have, so to speak. And um, I think that's fucking hilarious that you call them fans, okay? Last time I checked, when we're on YouTube, we don't click the fan button. It says subscribe, buddy. Uh, something you'll learn over the years, um, someday I guess. Um, if people were really your fans, they would probably have your back through all of your spoilers, and they would have your back through whenever you're, uh, I don't know, trying to cut a fucking promo. I know, you thought I needed to work on my promos, you need to see this, motherfuckers, this is a joke. You fucking human dirt sheet, egotistical, you're a fucking, you, are you serious, man? You, you address the haters. Oh, I'm sorry, you two. I'm not going to address the haters anymore after this video. And then what happens the other day, you make another video while you're taking a shit saying, Oh, well, why don't you come to my house or some bullshit? Dude, I'm not gonna fucking... I'm in Oregon, dude. I'm not gonna... <laughs> dude, I wouldn't even go to your house if you lived in California just to talk shit to you. Are you kidding me? Like, when in your videos, you have this character about you where you seriously think the YWC is the WWE and you get this shit confused when really you're a fucking human dirt sheet with a personality? That doesn't make any sense sense to me. Um, the only thing on this planet that is not keeping me from scythering your fucking head off, yes, scyther. I'm going Pokemon style. The only thing that's keeping me from doing that is just the idea, just the chance that every word you speak, every time something comes out of your mouth, every time you move, talk, your look, everything is just character. You are building this character because someday you want to be a wrestler and this is how you want to be. You just want to be this heel where you act like an egotistical asshole and you spoil shit for everybody on the other hand. But uh, it's just a character, and um, you know I I can't get mad at a character. You know you're you're an aspiring WWE superstar here on the YWC. 
Um, I, ca I can't get mad at that, you know, if, you, if you're trying to get on the grind, whatever, I got a lot of respect for that. But other than that, though, if that's who you truly are, then everything in this video has been 100% true. Um, I'm really looking forward to a response, you know, calling me a hater and everything. Really, I'm not a hater as much as I just really don't like um, spoilers as much as you do, especially in the titles and shit like that. And also, I don't like fake rumors and things like that, but um, like I said, I'm different than everybody else. But uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. That was my best video ever. We take what we want, and after we take Lake Ruger and the time, we want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out for the record, Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. Welcome to another edition of Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. You see, I didn't want to do this, but I have to do this because I have to update my fans and let them know what's going on. I know a, the last thing they wanted was a hater video, but this is what's going to happen because this is going to end it all right now, okay? This really is because you have to watch this episode before you shut it off because we got something volatile going on. We got something huge. We got something epic. You see point B, that's where I live, and then you see point A in Richmond, Virginia. Point A to point B. You see, what's going to happen here is we're going to have a heat fest. We're going to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. We're going to end it, so to speak. Okay? I, I know I said I wasn't going to interrupt my wrestling news, rumors, and headlines, and fan interaction to talk about haters. But th for this one occasion, I have to uh, break in here. I have to chime in. I have to talk about this. I've booked their little hotel room. I've booked an airplane. I'm going to have them fly their ass on over here. Because you see, in uh, episodes, if you go a little bit further back, you will see that I booked and I had an episode where I thought I ended all the haters. But you see, these haters want to take it one step further. And they really do. They want to come meet me. They want to go face to face with me. They said they're going to, as they put it, pop a cap in my ass. They're going to pop a cap in my ass. So what's going to happen is they're going to roll their little asses down here in their two-wheelers or their four-wheelers or whatever they have, taxi cab, limousine, service. Maybe they're going to fly down here. They're going to roll their asses down their little highway, their little street right there. Hey, maybe it's, maybe it's that van full of mobsters. Who knows what it is? Maybe it's gangsters. Maybe it's the Bloods. Maybe it's the Crips. Who knows who it is? They're going to apparently roll their little asses down the little road. Come down my little country road. They're going to come right through this window right here, the same window that I said they could break into and come right into Sean's View Entertainment and do something about it. They said they will make me get off YouTube. They said they will end Sean's View Entertainment. I've already booked the hotel accommodations. I've, I've already went on the site. I've already thought about this whole process. I've already went. They want an expedient travel right there. There it is. I'll book them their little flight. I'll book them their hotel. I'll book them a car. Hell, if they want Kurt's car rental, I'll give it to them if they want. Free of no charge. All you got to do is show up. It's as easy as that. I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to say bad words. All you got to do is show up. I've already had my hate rants. I've already told you haters what I think about you. But you know what? You wanted to take it one step further. You think I'm afraid of you? Hey, I say to everybody behind the computer who has something to say about me. This comes down to high school drama. Anybody, anybody can type behind a computer. Anybody can talk a big game with their little keyboard, with their little typewriter, whatever you have nowadays. But the fact of the matter is, when you come face to face with me, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new origin. So you bring an army. You bring your cars. You bring your games. You bring anything you want. You bring your knives. Your freaking Tic Tacs, bring whatever you want because you will need everything to stop me. Because in the end, you will get owned just like all the haters always get owned in the end. Because you are nothing but sorry ass losers.